chapter one, lesson three is number patterns. So again, here we're basically still a continuation of comparing, um, but it's asking us to see if there's a pattern from one number to another number. So if uh, the missing number in a series of numbers is missing in the front, what we want to do is start working in the latter part and see what the pattern is and then work backwards. So um, again, I'll show that strategy as I go through the problems. Uh, another uh, thing that we have to remember when it says more than, that usually means to add. When it says less than, that usually means to subtract. But I say usually and not always because there are times that we would have to subtract when it says more than and we need to add when it says less than so it depends on the wording of the problem okay so uh, the problems that we will be discussing are from page 22 okay So in these problems, we'll start with 3B. The question says, what is 1,000 less than 61,867? So that means we're going to take away 1,000 from 61,867. So using our mental math strategies from grade 3, we only look at the thousands place and we subtract. So that means that 60,000 867. Okay, in the next problem, it says well, 10 less than 86,372. So we subtract 10 from 86,372. So again, since this is mental math, we look at the tens place and we subtract. So that gives us 86, 3, 6, Okay, then it says in letter D, 1,000 more than 19,503. So that means we're going to add 1,000 to 19,503. So looking at the thousands place, 19 plus 1, that makes it 20, which means that's 20,500 and, sorry, 20,503 is the answer. Okay, then it says 49,161 is 100 less than blank. Okay, so in this case, although it says less than, we're not going to subtract. In this case, we're actually adding. Okay, because it says this number is less than the number that's blank. So that means we have to work and add back. So that's 40, 9,161, add the 100, so that's 49,261. Finally, it says complete the number pattern. Since what's missing is in the beginning, we start by looking at the patterns in the end. And if you'll notice, the 1 and the 2s are the same, and it changes on the 100s. So this is minus 100. This is minus 100. So there's two ways of doing this. If we're going to work back, we need to add. Okay, but we can also continue with a pattern and minus 100. So if we minus, that's 12,785. Or we can add back 100, which gives us the same answer. That concludes lesson 3 of chapter 1. See you in the next lesson.